Let me tell you a story it seems many have forgotten. There was no happy ending, in fact, it's pretty rotten. I'll take you to December 9th, 1981. 32 years ago, the story just begun. Mumia Abu Jamal was parked along the street. You see, he drove a taxi to try to make ends meet. He couldn't believe his eyes as he pulled up to the scene to witness his own brother being beaten by police. He jumped up to his feet, ran to his brother's aid. Two men end up shot, but the details remain vague. Back up arrives, they see the cop has lost his life, and they proceed to beat Jamal on his ambulance ride. What happened may be sketchy, but one thing's very sure, the evidence presented it provided no answers. Ask the streets of Philly exactly what they've heard, and why a life in prison is entirely absurd. The first thing you should note is this man's identity. A Black Panthers activist who's well known by police. This respected journalist exposed police brutality. So the voice of the voiceless they needed to cease. They denied his right just to represent himself. Barred from his own trial, he waited in his cell. Convicted by a jury that's all doctored evidence. Ballistics didn't add up, but that's of no consequence. Faulty eyewitnesses had way too much to gain. Each took to the stand, but only after deals were made. The most important evidence the jury never got to see was written confessions from Arnold Beverly. Convicted as a cop killer and sent to death row, Mumia kept reporting through books and microphones until they passed Mumia's law strictly to keep him quiet to stop the interviews that may expose what they've been hiding. He was living on death row since 1982, then in 2011, his sentence was commuted to life imprisonment, where he sits still to this day. No matter how you look at it, his life they took away, but that's the price you pay when you fight against the system. This is one man's story, but there's been many more victims, political prisoners that sit shackled and chained for standing for the rights that were imposed on by the state. It's time to stand our ground, this could be me or you. Take a look around and you know that this is true. Talk to friends and neighbors and make sure to keep informed. Justice is not blind, she's been treated like a whore. Let's take this brick by brick, let's take this wall by wall. We demand the freedom of Mumia Abu Jamal. Let's take it brick by brick and let's take it wall by wall. Free political prisoners, it's time to free them all. If you look inside the bars, you're looking at millions of men and women and juveniles, as I noted before. But even beyond that, I mean, how free are we today, those who claim to be non-prisoners? Um, your computers are being read by others in government. Your letters, your phone calls are being intercepted. We live now in a national security state where the United States is fast becoming one of the biggest open-air prisons on Earth. I mean, we can speak about freedom, and the United States has a long and distinguished history of talking about freedom. But have we exampled freedom? And I think the answer should be very clear. We have not. And we're becoming a less free nation every day. And I think people should rise up, and I think they should organize, and I think, frankly, they should raise hell. You know, if you don't want to join our movement, join some movement. But damn it, do something, because we are in an age that we may never be able to capture again. again. again.